Hello film fanatics and Criterion collectors, this is Irv the Smurf one and this is my Criterion update. And um, I'm here to finally share what, uh, my recent acquisitions. And let me just apologize in advance for I plan to just breeze through my recent acquisitions here. So let me just share with you what I got. Um, spy number six, The Beauty and the Beast. Um, beautiful film, better than the Disney version. Uh, spy number 184, Stan Brackage, an anthology. This is volume one, I believe. Um, spy number 26, The Long Good Friday. By number 25, Jean Duc Godard's Alphaville. By number 30, Fritz Lang's M. By number 177, The Lost Honor of Katharina Bloom. By number 44, The Red Shoes. I finally got my update. I got rid of the other copy. I don't know why, but it didn't mean much to me. Um, uh, spy number 143, Luis Puñel, and his final film, That Ob that Obscure Object of Desire. Spy number 179, I Am Curious Yellow, and I Am Curious Yellow Blue, the box sets. Spy number 136, Alfred Hitchcock, Spellbound. Amazing Dream Sequence by Salvador Dali. I thought that's that was the only part I was going to like in the movie, but it's a brilliant movie all around. As always, Hitchcock makes brilliant films. Spy number 182, Sam Peckinpah's Straw Dogs, with Dustin Hoffman in a very awkward role. Spy number 64, Carol Reed's The Third Man. And I'm so happy I got this for like 30 bucks. I mean, you know, it goes around for like 60 or 70 or way up there. But I mean, I I, I got it just because there's some little slight damage on the case. Otherwise than that, it's all good. Um, next is by number 290, Luis Buñuel's The Phantom of Liberty. And I got it in this plastic collectors, you know, sheets right here, but, um, it's another quirky Buñuel film, surreal film, uh, spy number 317, uh, let's see, um, Powell and Pressburger's Tales of Hoffman, an opera film, if you enjoy the red shoes visually, then you'll enjoy this film visually as well. Um, spy number 421, Jean-Luc Godard's Pierre Le Fou. Second favorite Godard film after Breathless. Um, spy number 106, Bernard Tavernier's Coupe de Tauchon. Out of print. Next out of print is spy number 81, Federico Fellini's Variety Lights. Federico Fellini's first feature film debut. Uh, spy number 63, Carnival of Souls. If you like cheesy, you know, low budget B movies, but it's cheesy but still excellent. I love the, the music on that. that organ. Uh, spy number 243, I got it at the Barnes & Noble sale, the last Barnes & Noble sale. Battle of Algiers, documentary style war film. Amazing film. Quite lengthy, but a very amazing film. The last 10 minutes of that film were something else. Um, spy number 358, Pandora's box. Uh, another one I got at the last Barnes and Noble sale. Um, excellent 
excellent film. I really, really love this film. I don't, you know, I'm to be for it to be a lengthy silent film. I really enjoyed it. It's a brilliant, brilliant, really likable story. A beautiful film right here. Spy number three hundred fifty nine. The Double Life of Veronique, and, and these two have, they follow each other in spy number, and just amazing packaging. I really love these two films, and the fact that they both have women on the front cover, and they're both about women. Could watch those films back to back, in fact. Uh, spy number 400, Stranger Than Paradise by Jim Jarmusch. Um, uh, he helped, uh, you know, innovate the, the independent movie scene, so, very minimal film right here, but, you know, some people might find it too, a bit, too minimal, or, you know, just kind of on the boring side, but, if you know Jim Jarmusch, you'll enjoy this film very much. Alright, so these are, okay, so, let's see, before, oh yeah, okay, and these I fished from the Barnes & Noble sale too, so, spy number 536, Terrence Malick's The Thin Red Line, um, a, a great film, I mean, I'm still getting used to Malick, so, his films are quite, very, very, uh, for the in well, let me see. For those who like to think of a lot about films, but yeah, it's a, it's a masterpiece. I'll, I'll say it. I'm just not at that level of thinking yet when it comes to films. Um, Kirk Douglas and Pass of Glory, Spy Number Five Hundred Thirty Eight. Um, of course, this is the first uh, Kirk Douglas and Stanley Kubrick, uh, first time they teamed up, and later on they teamed up for Spartacus, and this is a great anti-war film, um, you know, you, everybody should at least watch, I mean, I'm a big fan of Kubrick, so, that's his best, and his only war film, and there's, there's other ones too. But that's like his best. Um, spy number 540, Wes Anderson, The Dark Ealing Limited. I'm not a Wes Anderson hater. There's a lot of people out there that hate Wes Anderson. But I like Wes Anderson films. I said it. And I'm not afraid to say it again. I like Wes Anderson films. Lars von Trier's Antichrist 542. Very, very disturbing film, but beautiful at the same time. Charlotte Gainsbourg and Willem Dafoe give excellent performances. Spy number 400, 543, Charlie Chaplin's Modern Times. I'm excited that they got that Criterion finally got Chaplin in their collection. And I'm sure most of you have seen the America Lost and Found box set, so I don't really need to share much of it, but um, I, I love Easy Rider is one of my favorite films of all time, but the last picture show in this set is just amazing. And let's see, and I also picked up Kronos, uh, Guillermo del Toro's Kronos, by number 551. Uh, um, classic uh, Guillermo del Toro film right there. Um, so, yeah, these are my latest acquisitions, and I'm very glad to have shared them with you. I'll do an update later on when I have time. I just wanted to catch you up on what I have. So, thank you, and stay tuned for more.